Hello, I'm Eric Rano, and this is a video for Tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop, Lightroom, Adobe Camera Raw, Photoshop Elements, and Photoshop Touch. In this video, I'll be using simple techniques to create this invisible person shadow technique. Okay, not the snappiest of titles, but let's jump into Photoshop and see how it's done. So here I am in Photoshop, and I'm going to be using two images to create the effect. I'm going to be using this one of Sammy standing on the grass, casting the shadow, and then this one of the shoes. Now if I go back to this one of Sammy casting the shadow, you'll notice that both images are exposed the same. So what I've done here is I've put the camera into AV mode and half pressed to focus. I've then taken all the readings that the camera has suggested I use and dialed them in in manual mode. Then I know that it's going to be exposed the same between this image and this one. Now this one was the one that was taken first. And here's a little tip for you. Get your subject to stand on their shoes, if possible, of course. You'll notice that Sammy's standing on her shoes, and then all I've got to do is ask her to walk away and take the second shot. So it can be done very, very quickly. And we know that the shoes are going to be in the right place. OK, let's join all the images up together. Using the Move tool, I'm going to take this image of Sammy, and I'm going to click and drag up to the tab of the shoes here. And then when I bring the mouse onto the image, you can see that I get this white border. That means I'm going to drop an image on top of this one. Now, before I let go of the mouse, I'm going to press the Shift key. And when I release the mouse, it'll drop this image right in the middle. And that's roughly where I want it. Now, I seem to have one leg shorter than the other because all my photographs are wonky. This one, I'm leaning slightly to the right and the one underneath. I'm leaning slightly to the left. I don't know how I do it. Really, I don't. But I can always use Photoshop to align these layers. So let's do that. I'm going to make sure layer one is selected and then Control or Command if you're using a Mac and click on the background layer to highlight them both. Then go to Edit and Auto Align Layers. Now in this dialog box, I can basically leave everything as is 99.9% .9 of the time whenever I see this dialog box. So set to Auto with no vignette removal and no geometric distortion to take care of. I can just press OK. And sure enough, off it goes. Now I've seriously reduced the size of these images to speed things up, so that was very quickly. And I can just highlight layer 1 and then let's have a look and see how we've done clicking on the eyeball, there's the first one and the second one on top. So yep, they're pretty much aligned very well indeed. So making sure that layer one is still selected, I'm going to add a layer mask. Now at the moment it's completely white and I need to paint black on it. White is my foreground color at the moment, so let's switch these over by clicking on the twirly arrow there. Black is now my foreground, get a brush, Make it nice and soft. And then I can just paint away. I'm making it a little bit bigger by using the right bracket key there. And I can just paint Sammy away. And because we align the layers, we know the grass is going to be all aligned. The only tricky bit is going to be down the bottom here. So let's zoom in a little bit. And then make the brush a little bit smaller be using the left square bracket. And then reveal the shoes underneath. Get rid of her nice pink socks and there we go now I've gone a little bit too far but that's okay reduce the size even more make the foreground color white and then I can paint back some of the shadows and it really is that simple I have just noticed that I went a little bit up here with the other one so I'm gonna make sure that I paint all that back in and then paint away this little bit here there we go blend it in nicely let's just make sure I've got all the shoes there so again back to white uh, sorry back to black oh I get confused there we go and we blend those in all nicely and there we have it I'm going to press Control one just to bring it up a hundred percent now what I can do is make a quick crop a square will be nice quick crop move that into position and there we have it click the tick and I'm done 
Now, of course, depending on the time of day, you'll get different shadows. And if I go on to Invisible Sammy 3 here, you can see that we left it to quite late on in the day and a nice long shadow along the key here. And I was quite lucky that the sun cast a shadow that was almost parallel to the side of the key there to add a little bit of composition there. So there, but it was exactly the same technique. I've done a little bit more shenanigans in Photoshop, but more of that another day. I'm Eric Rano. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out tipsquirrel.com for a whole heap more. Bye-bye for now.